It is a reckless disregard of the known risk of the underground migration of toxic fluids from a horizontal well bore, especially when hydraulic fracturing involves the use of explosive charges, and especially in areas known for the risk of higher magnitude earthquakes. Testing should be done even beyond two miles from the well site for various reasons. Horizontally, fractures can extend up to a half mile from the well bore. Expert testimony in court cases shows that fluids have been found at least 3,000 3, feet from the well bore, plus research shows that fluids can migrate up to eight to 10 kil kilometers away, five to six miles from the injection site. Once aquifer contamination happens, how far will it spread? What guarantee is there that an aquifer, once contaminated, will contain itself to a radius of 1,500 feet from a well site? Certainly all residents affected by such an event need protection. Baseline testing needs to cover all of Illinois residents at risk from aquifer contamination from fracking. Thank you. Every boom leads to a bust, and 
citizens like myself in Southern Illinois don't want to be left holding the bag on this bus. So I, I urge you to look at the sections that I've cited here and to make changes in these rules. But the fact is that there's, all, there's going to be a good deal of resistance in any effort to track here in Southern Illinois because people like myself who live in Southern Illinois don't intend to be unintended consequences or collateral damage. And I can assure you, you'll meet resistance at every step of this, of this proposed uh, fracking. Uh, I'm going to be talking about section 24.27 about related to the hearings and the amount of them. Um, I do not feel that an adequate amount of hearings considering I'm a student, and I, as the people I engage try to bring here tonight, many of them weren't able to make it because a lot of the hearings are scheduled during the busiest time of the year for many people since it's the holiday season. Um, students have finals. I know it, like this is two weeks for the next this week where there's the two hearings of this in Effingham. I know many people can't make it and there, I believe also the uh, one on the 19th in Carbondale is also when many people leave town to go as a family for the holidays and including professors and students alike. As well as there's not enough hearings in the areas that are going to be directly affected by this fracture, um, specifically the southeastern region of, you know, um, of Illinois. And many, many people have families, two jobs, live much farther away than they weren't even able to make it. Um, there's also a big lack of knowledge about the hearings. I, everyone engaged almost didn't really know when or where they were and had no knowledge of what was really going on as far as amount of hearings or the place they're being held. That is it. Thank you. 